There are four fundamental principles that you need to master in order to be proficient in land navigation. The first one is to know where you are. I can determine this by a major train feature that I can identify on my map or I could be given an eight digit grid coordinate. Once I know where I'm at, my next step is to orient my map and plot my location. The next step is to orient my map. To orient my map, I'm going to set my compass right on my map and ensure that north on my map is in line with north on my compass. Once I have oriented my map, now I can plot my location. I'm at 04757780. So I'm going to read right to 04 and up to 77. I now know that I'm somewhere in this grid square. To find my exact location, I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to line it up on the bottom left hand corner of 0477 and I'm going to slide my protractor to the right to 75 and then I'm going to read up to 80 and then I'm going to plot my location to re-verify I'm going to put it right back on 0475-7780 and ensure that the black line on my map for my pencil is directly underneath the black line of my protractor. The next fundamental is to plan the route. To plan the route, I'm going to plot the location for where I want to go and determine my azimuth. So I'm headed to 03827751. Again, I'm going to set my protractor down on 0377. I'm going to slide it to the right and find 82 and read up to 5-1. Put my protractor back down and again ensure that my pencil mark is directly underneath my black line. Now that I've plotted my two locations I can determine my azimuth. So I'll use the straight edge of my protractor I'll line it up from where I'm at to where I'm going and draw a straight line. I'm going to take the center of my protractor ensuring that 0 is at the top and 90 is at the right. I'm going to set it down on the center on where I'm starting from. I'm going to read over and I'm going to determine my grid azimuth which is 253 degrees. And I'm going to take my map and I'm going to flip it over and use the declination diagram. The declination diagram is the difference between grid north and magnetic north, which is nine degrees. So to convert from a grid azimuth to a magnetic azimuth, I need to subtract my GM angle, which now gives me an azimuth of 244 degrees. The next step is to figure out my distance. So I'm gonna use the scale on my protractor and I'm gonna put it right where I'm starting from to where I'm headed and I can see that I'm approximately 980 meters. Now I know my distance. Always a good idea to double check your work before you get moving. So I'm going to set my protractor back down and re-verify all my coordinates. So 0475-7780 and 0382-7780. seven seven five one looks like my plotting is good the next fundamental is to stay on the route I can do this a couple different ways if there's a fixed point that won't move as I start heading towards my next point I can use this to stay on my asthma this is called dead reckoning I can also preset my compass degrees on my compass are marked in red numbers as I rotate my compass I want the black line of my bezel ring to be directly above my heading to shoot my azimuth, I'm going to use a compass to cheek method by bringing the compass up to my eye and looking down at my degrees.
Then I'm going to look up through the wire out towards my azimuth and find a steering mark. To use the center hole method, I'm going to bring the compass up towards my torso and find 244 degrees. Once I have my 244 degrees, I'm going to look up towards the horizon and try to find a steering mark that's on my azimuth. As you can see, the green tractor is directly on my azimuth. To preset my compass while maintaining it a bearing of 244 degrees, I'm going to rotate the bezel ring on my compass until it is in line with my north seeking arrow. Once I have that done, I can walk in a straight line and if I drift left or drift right, my illuminating lines will no longer be lined up. But if I maintain 244, I can now keep my bearing. Now that I know my distance and my direction, I can start heading out towards my steering mark. One, two, three, four, five, 71, 72. Every time I go 100 meters, which is 72 paces, I'm going to stop and I'm going to redo my count. So I'm only going to count every 100 meters. I can keep track of how many 100 meter increments that I walk by either using beads, stones, or tying knots in a rope. Once I have that, I'll begin again. One, two. Now that I've made it to my stern mark, I can use my back asthma to determine if I've been heading in the right direction. A back azimuth is nothing more than the exact opposite direction that you've been heading. For degrees of 0 to 180, you're going to add 180 degrees. If your direction was between 180 and 360 degrees, you're going to subtract. So my back azimuth is 64 degrees. Using my compass, I'm going to shoot my azimuth of 64 degrees and ensure that I've been heading in the right direction, which I have. Now I can go to the other side of, of my steering mark and do the exact same thing again. Now that I'm on the other side of my steering mark, I can shoot my azimuth again. At 244 degrees, I don't have anything I can use as a next steering mark, but my compass is preset, so I can use that to stay on my azimuth. The last fundamental is to recognize the objective. Once I've moved the required distance, I should be right where I'm supposed to be. I've come out my required distance and I found my point, number 62. Now I'm ready to move on to my next point. Just remember these four basic fundamentals the next time you go out to exercise land navigation. You have to know where you are. You have to plan the route. Stay on the route and recognize the objective.